Ah, baby, this is our Jesus. He just ain't um so good to you that he fills you up. Oh, no, 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 no. Our Jesus is extravagant. He is audacious. He is graceful with it. Like, he gives above and beyond what we can think of or imagine. He not only meets the thirst like a Gatorade bottle, do that. He says, no, rivers of living water. Like, you're going to be overrun with it. You're going to about drown in this stuff. Like, it's going to have to come out like the woman did. It met something within, and she had to go tell. And I can testify to that. Like, he met something within, and I had to go tell what you think we're doing here. Perfect. There's a river flowing within, and it has to come out. But he ain't done there. This is what I'm trying to tell you. God is amazing, and he don't stop at just what we think that limit is. He goes and exceeds it. Let me show you why. Because this river, it just don't um, stay in this vessel, right? Like, we just ain't a, a well that we can dip into. He's got plans and purposes for us. He's shaped and molded us for a reason. He met our eternity that we might go and help another meet their eternity. But I want to show you how he does this. Because this is freaking amazing. Now I want to share the secret with you, right? Flip to Acts 2. Listen to me. I've had it happen to me. This is real life. Like, you want this river to flow from you? Like, it just don't come out on its own. I want you to see what happens. Like, God initiates this. He meets your need. Yes, he fills that longing. Yes, but then he's going to get you out. And I'm going to show you how he's going to get it out of you. This is beautiful. Acts 2. I'm going to go 1 through 4 first, and I'm going to walk you through it a little bit. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Like, look at this. Fire fell on them, right? Tongues of fire separated and fell each to his own. And it filled them, it said. What to say? All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit would enable them. Like they were filled with the fire. Like, hold up a minute. Like you culinary art students. What happens when you've got a pot of water and you add some heat to it? Like, I'm just asking you. You put a pot of water on a stove long enough, what happens? It boils, baby. And left unchecked? Left with the heat turned up? And that Holy Spirit comes to turn the heat up in your life, in your spirit, in your heart. I just let you know. It's going to boil straight up out that vessel. I don't care how big the pan is. That water, that, that, that um, spring that's welling up within, God sends the fire, baby. Sends His Holy Spirit. And it uh, boils what's inside and it can't do nothing but come out why because there ain't supposed to be a lid on this thing it's supposed to flow out this woman ran back and told all she knew about the messiah come and see the one and many believed it says because of her testimony and then they came and said we not only believe because of what you said we now see for ourselves Perfect. and that was a foreshadow of what was about to take place with peter in this the man that was just filled in acts 2 with that fire, listen to me, he had living water within him. He walked with Jesus three years. He was reinstated by him um, after his crucifixion. Like, he knew who his Savior was, and God just turned up the heat on him a little bit. And the fire had to flow out. And you thinking, like, what the signs of the Holy Spirit, like, filling a man and speaking in tongues. Oh, no, 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 my baby. God can give utterance on whatever language he wants to, but the utterance is all the same. It's Jesus is King. He is the Savior. He is the Messiah. There ain't another. I, says Jesus, who is speaking to you, is he. That is what the Holy Spirit will bring out of a man because no one can say Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Ghost. And when he turns that flame up, that's the proclamation that comes out. It can't do no other because this flame can only take what is given to it and reveal it to us. And he is revealing the truth of the Son. He is revealing the might of his character. He is revealing the love of his heart. And he is showing to us that we might speak it out and you let God take care of the language. But the proclamation is Jesus all day, every day. And this heat filled Peter and it went to overflow. And in verse 14, we find him. Then Peter stood up, couldn't sit no more. With the 11, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. What'd you say, Peter? I told you everything about Jesus. I told you about his resurrection. I told you about his crucifixion. I declared him as the son of God, the one and only savior. And what happened because of the testimony, Peter? You read it and find out for yourself. 
Verse 37. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. What's he saying? This flame that's within, this heat that gets turned up, he's going to take that living water, he's going to meet those needs, and he is going to overflow into you as well because those who worship God got to worship in spirit. How'd that happen? He sends it, baby, and he fills you that you might proclaim, that you might worship, that you might dare confess who Jesus is. Ah, I love it. Ah, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly pray it blessed you. And if it did, subscribe to this channel that you might continue to get the latest revelations from God that they might encourage and embolden you to walk boldly and faithfully with your Savior. God bless.